Bernice, you just moved here not that long ago from Woodstock. You have a developmentally disabled son who's now 37. Yes. Can you tell me, uh, just describe for me the difference between living arrangements here and living arrangements there? Well, um, our adult son, who was living and working in Woodstock, Ontario, uh, was living in a one-bedroom apartment, which was through social housing, and he was working four full days a week through Arc Industries, and he was receiving um, daily support, about an hour to two hours per day, which uh, consisted of assisting in laundry, meal prep, grocery, and banking. Um, he was established there and we moved here to Ottawa to get him settled um, so that his only sibling would have some involvement in his life. And what did you encounter when you came here? Um, a lot of waiting, a lot of lists, a lot of things are going to happen and um, we did finally get him assessed because apparently that's the first step. You can only get services once you've been assessed and apparently uh, we have been, um, or Jason has been put in for all the services available and we wait and we still wait. How long have you waited so far um, since we moved here? Which was? In uh, 2012. You've been basically waiting now for three years. What's the expectation now as of today? More waiting. I put in a phone call to any of my um, contacts and I'm even told like we'll return your call in three business days and it's more like two weeks, three weeks. There's this statistic that you mentioned that the average wait for a position in a group home for a developmentally dis delayed adult is 20 years. Now Jason would go into uh, assisted living mm -hmm. and we were told it's four to eight years but I have a feeling it's probably eight or better.